y'all welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do something a little bit different um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me and we're gonna do some venture talks so um, I thought it would be fun I have somewhere I have to be in a few minutes so I wanted to just um, come on and do just a little bit of the um, get ready with me and chit chat kind of thing so um, I've had people ask me about my makeup routine and I've had people ask me about my denture routine so I actually have a um, another channel that is a beauty channel so I thought I would kind of come on and, and bring it together and talk about dentures and beauty too um, I always start out with a hydration jelly that's really important if you are very dry I know I'm very dry so I like to use the Clinique hydrating jelly um, and then I'll I'll move on to a, a face primer and this is an hourglass face primer and I put that on too um, somebody asked me the other day what I thought was the best denture adhesive um, for me myself the best thing that I found so far is the secure and this is about the fourth or fifth tube that I've went through already um, that's the only thing I can keep my dentures in with I don't wear anything on the top at all except for a realign um, because they they fit okay they're just they're bulky so um, that's what I use and I always every single night I soak my dentures because I am a germaphobe I guess you'd say um, so I do soak my dentures every single night in a um, I can't remember the name of it but it's just a little um, tablet that keeps them clean my foundation is BH Cosmetics um, foundation actually flawless in the color ivory beige um, I had somebody tell me that they actually don't soak their dentures every single night. And, um, I don't know, I, I do, so, um, most people do, I believe, but. And I've also been asked, um, why I actually had to have dentures. And these people are in my everyday life, and some people have asked me on YouTube so I thought I would go into a little detail on that um, several months back I was well it happened several years ago I started having problems with sensitivity I went into the dentist office and they told me said well if you're sensitive we're gonna try sensitive toothpaste and mouthwash and that sort of thing so I did that for years um, it was about three or four years that I did that and it wasn't helping so then um, when I went back I told them I was like this isn't working they're still sensitive I was literally to the point that I could not eat anything so um, they said well let's try to put it was a paste that they put on my teeth and to see if you know that would help maybe the enamel was bad they said so we did that and um, it didn't help either so then I had a I went to see a periodontist and they told me that I actually had gum disease and I said okay what are we gonna do and I should have known it didn't sound right to me um, but I let them do it anyway they told me braces would help and he's in Laura Mercier translucent powder um, they told me braces would help I said okay they said it'll keep the teeth closer together where you don't get so much food and that sort of thing down in them I said okay so we tried that not once but twice I had braces didn't work so I went back and I was like this isn't working you know they're still absolutely killing me let's do something let's take these things off let's try something else so we tried something different 
I had everything done. I had scans ran and everything of my teeth and nothing was showing up. Let me use the MAC paint pot for my eyes for primer. Um, nothing was showing up. So they're like, I have no idea what's going on. So I went to another dentist. And they said, I have no idea. I said, you have a few abscess teeth. Maybe that's the problem. So I took medicine for the abscess. And it didn't help. So they eventually had to go in and pull those teeth. Well, once they got those teeth pulled, the same thing started happening again. And I was just like, you know, I can't take this anymore. I've got to know what's going on. And so they were like, okay, well... The only thing I can say is start with the root canal and root canal all your teeth. And I was like, um, no. They said it's $8,000 to root canal and crown for every tooth. And I was like, I don't have that kind of money. I mean, I'm not made of money, you know. And so they're like, well, we don't have any other options. And I said, well, I'm going to go and get another opinion. So I went to a third doctor. Luckily, this time I went to an oral surgeon and she did a MRI instead of just scanning my teeth. She did an MRI and come to find out every single one of my teeth had hairline fractures and it was under the gum so they couldn't show them in um, an actual x-ray. It wouldn't show up. So um, we went in and um, they tried to see what they could do. We did all kind of different things and nothing was working. So, um, finally I told the doctor, I was like, we have to do something. I'm going into the NARS blush. This is the color orgasm. Um, I said, we have to do something. I said, because this is driving me crazy. I can't eat and it hurts so bad. And they said, well, you don't have any options left. And she said, um, this third doctor said, I think it would be in your best interest to um, go and have dentures. And I was like, really? I said, all the other doctors wanted to save my teeth. And she said, that's what uh, regular dentists do. She's like, I'm an oral surgeon and I'm telling you there's nothing else that they can do to your teeth. You're going to keep getting abscess. They're going to keep hurting. There's nothing you can do. And I said, okay, so my husband and I talked it over, and it took me a while to really, um, I guess, accept the fact that I was going to lose my teeth, because that was a big part, because my teeth were beautiful on the outside, and uh, it took a lot of thinking about it, a lot of prayers, a lot of talk, but I was like, okay, you know, it's the best decision. So, a few months back, I went in, and I had 24 teeth extracted. I had immediate dentures put in. I'm going to use the um, Coco Contour by Too Faced. So, I went in, and they're like, um, let me do some x-rays and check everything out. And I said, okay. And this was at Aspen Dental. And the dentist there, she's like, I'm not pulling your teeth. They're too pretty. And I said, well, I'm telling you, you know, I'm having all these problems. And the oral surgeon told me this was the only way that I was going to be able to um, get relief. And she said, well, you'll just have to find a different dentist. Okay, so I did. I went and I called um, Affordable Dentures. Went in for a consult. And... She's like, um, I'm going to get the x-rays and MRIs and all that that you have done already. And I'm going to look at them before I do anything. And I said, well, you know, that's fine. You know, I could see her point wanting to make sure that it wasn't just somebody coming in wanting their teeth out for some crazy reason. But that wasn't the case for me. I really didn't know what else to do. So she checked everything out and she said, yeah, you know, your teeth are bad. Um, I really don't want to pull them all. She's like, but 
you don't have any other options. She said, your teeth are eventually going to fall out because there's so many abscess. And I said, okay. I said, I understand, you know, I thought about it, I prayed about it, and I said, I don't know what else to do. And she said, well, we'll set you up for the surgery itself. And I said, okay. So I went in for the surgery, and everything went great as far as um, pulling the teeth. The only thing was I had a problem when I went. I didn't know that I had abscess that were under the gum that nobody knew about. And um, she put 26 shots in my lower gum because she couldn't get it numb. No matter how hard she tried, she put 26 shots just in the bottom. And she's like, that's way over the amount that she would do for the entire mouth. And I said, I, I don't know what else to do. And she said, well, we're not going to be able to get them numb. She's like, um, I just, I'm already started. I've got to get them out. And I said, okay. So she gave me more pain medicine. Um, she gave me a pill to take. And so I had to sit there for my bottom teeth to be extracted in complete agony. And she felt really bad because she said, you know, this isn't how I work. This isn't what I do. And I said, I completely understand, you know. And don't get me wrong, the pain was pretty bad. But at the end of the day, you know, I sat there for a couple hours <clears throat> getting teeth extracted to keep from having years and years and years of pain again. So, um... It doesn't normally happen that way for most people. It just depends, like, I guess your your problems that you're having and everything. So, it's not something that they do all the time. It was just something that had to be done for me specifically. And, you know, I, I recommend it to anybody that's having problems with their, their teeth to go and get MRIs done because it does find the underlying cause of your pain, you know. An x-ray is going to show whether you have an abscess or, you know, a cavity or whatever. But an MRI is going to show the underlying causes, you know, if it's a gum problem. I'm using the Dior Brow Show Brow Styler Eye Pencil. And I was just like, um, relieved after it was all done. I was sitting there thinking, you know, now I'm not going to have to worry about having pain anymore or anything like that. You know, it's, it's over finally. I feel like it was the best decision that I had ever made myself. But, um, if you can save your teeth, then save them. If you have the money to have caps and that sort of thing, go by all means and do it. I'm going to use the Omri Easy Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a highlighter. By every means, go and do all you can do to save your teeth. If you've had everything done and they're telling you there's nothing else that you can do, then, you know, trust them. Get two or three opinions and see what everybody else says. You know, that's, like I said, that's what I did. It was a hard, hard decision, you know, because I'm not that old, you know, and I thought I'm gonna have to live with dentures for the rest of my life. But at the end of the day, it was the best decision that I could have made for myself. And my husband feels like, you know, it was the best decision for me to make also. And, um, I would do it again, for sure. Even through all the problems that I've been having with my dentures, I would definitely do it again, because now I don't have toothache pain. Uh, I have occasional pain from having several bone spurs. Like, my mouth is completely covered in bone spurs, even now. But I've been trying to take those out a little bit at a time. Which is very painful, by the way. It's very, very painful to do that. 
I'm going to go into the Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette for the eyeshadow. Um, I just feel like, like I said, it was the best decision for me. But it's something that you really need to, to talk over and think about. See how pretty all these colors are? I love this palette. Um, I'm going to use this color right here as a transition shade. I don't think it should be something that should be done overnight. It shouldn't just, you get up one morning and be like, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to have my teeth removed. You know, that's not something that, it, it needs to be a process of thinking. And really think about what you're getting into. Because it's not fun. You know, you can still have problems with your dentures, just like you can your teeth. So, um... You know, really think about it before you jump the gun and go do it. Just because you're having some toothache pain or something, don't just automatically assume you need to go have all your teeth removed. It's something that uh, you have to live with for the rest of your life, and that's a big decision to make, you know? And a lot of people don't think about that before having it done. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a little congested. Some people just don't think before they go do it. They're just like, I hate the way my teeth look. I want to go have them removed. I've heard it several times. Um, that's no reason. Just because they don't look good, it's no reason to go and have them taken out. There's other options, you know. And if you can't afford it, that's completely a different thing, you know. Because, like I said, I couldn't afford to go and have tons of crowns and... A lot of the um, different things that they wanted to do, I couldn't afford it. You know, after it was all said and done, I had already paid $12,000 for braces two times. You know, that was $12,000. It was 6000 each time I had it done. And I didn't have the money for that. I have three kids, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband works, and... Um, Basically, YouTube is my life. That's what I do. That's how I make money. And right now, I'm not doing so hot at that <laughs> because I've been out so long. Um, I want to go in do the darker shade right here, this color, and I'm going to put it on the outer V. You know, my, my beauty channel that I've had, I've had it for several years, and it's just not taken off at all. But luckily, you guys have really been very supportive on this channel. So, um, I really thank you guys so much for that. It means a lot to me. You know, I want to grow my channel. I want to be a larger channel. I want people to realize um, there are other options besides dentures. And if you do have to have dentures, it's not the end of the world. So, uh, that's one reason I kind of wanted to, to do a second channel was so people could see, you know, it's not the end of the world to get dentures. It's not great, but you can still function in everyday life. It's not going to affect you that badly. You know, just watch what you eat um, until you really get used to them. And just, you know, take care of your teeth if you aren't having problems now, don't make it where you'll have problems later. I'm actually going to go into this really pretty blue shade right here. It kind of matches my shirt. You know, it's it's a big process to um, I'm going to spray it with some all-nighter. It's a big process to, to go through and have all of your teeth extracted just in the spur of the moment, you know? Unless you've really thought about it over the years, like I have, you know? It's not something that you just want to jump right into. So I do recommend that people think really hard before they go and have it done. But if it's your only option, then that's your only option, you know? Uh, I, my mom has really bad teeth, and 
she is actually wanting to go and um, have dentures put in also. And I told her, I was like, you know, you need to think about it. Even though all these years she doesn't like the way her teeth looks. I said, you know, that's something you're going to have to really think about before you have it done. I don't recommend anybody going and having it done just because they don't like the look of their teeth. You can do things to fix your teeth, you know. And that's exactly what I wanted to do was to fix them. But at the end of the day, there was no fixing them. So, you do what you have to do. That's for sure. I've had, um, the hardest time that I've had is adjusting the dentures themselves. I went and had them adjusted several times and nothing seems to be working. Um, so I'm actually going to have to have them remake my dentures. Um, I do have Russell Klein's coming. They're, I ordered a set to start with and when they got here they were too small for my mouth. So um, I got in contact with Russell and um, have sent them back to him. He's already received them. And he has my new ones um, in the mail. And I should be getting them any day. And I'll keep you guys updated on that also. I'm excited to get those. Uh, these are not great. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they are what they are. This is a... Um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So. But I just wanted to, to come on and talk to you guys a little bit and kind of do a get ready with me and, you know, talk about options and that sort of thing. And I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you do, um, I'll definitely do them more. And um, I have to finish getting ready now. I have to go pick my kids up. So, uh, I will definitely see you guys soon, and if you haven't already, please hit the like button and the subscribe button for more channel video content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!